hello everyone welcome back to my channel it's angela here again we've got a little exciting project to do today and it's going to go into our christmas journal but this one's also going to be great to send out as a gift happy mail well don't want to say too much other than that at this point so go and gather your goodies or your notebook or just have a little grab a cup of tea and come and watch me as I put together this little project with you. So today, um, lo and behold, we're going to be using some envelopes. So I have got two of these envelopes over here. They are six and a quarter inches. It's just slightly bigger than that, actually, times four and a quarter. So six and a quarter by four and a half, really. Um, or 162 millimeters or 16.2 centimeters and 11.5 so I'm going to use two of these um, and we're going to make a little project with that all right so let's get going what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, oh, I'm not going to cut off any of the flaps or anything but I want to have this one with a flap opening out that way like that um, and this one over here I've got the flap on the inside and then, of course, we're going to have the one, as I said, with a flap on the outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take um, this off there. And I'm going to just put a little bit of glue on here because I don't think that strip's going to do enough of the holding. So I'm just going to put a little bit more on there. And then we can go and put this down. I hope you guys are all well and enjoying the A to Z of Christmas. Okay, so there we go. We have got it to stock down. All right, so I've got my little pouch over there, which we're going to cover up actually. Um, but then I've got the flap on that side and an envelope that's still open over there. All right, so at this point, we've got like a little card or booklet. Okay, right, so I'm going to use some papers now and decorate this all up. So I'm quite excited about that. I'm using my holiday, Happy Holidays kit. Um, and this is one of the background pages um, from there. So this is the polka dot with the, the font. So I'm going to stick that on the front there like that. Okay, so let's do that. Um, I might stitch around here, so I'm not going to go right to the edges. Um, but if you are not going to stitch, then just make sure that your glue goes right to the edge to get this stuck down properly. All right, so let's stick that down there. Um, and I th think that looks just about right. Yep, so I'm happy with that. Because well, I've got the other one there, it's a bit misleading. <laughs> okay, so there we go. I've got that in place, much better. All right, so that's going to be the base for what we're going to do. Now I'm going to use a couple more bits and today, We've got this little adorable squirrel, which I have fussy cut out. And I'll show you where I fussy cut him out from. And I fussy cut him out from, uh, there was a little square over here. So I've taken him from there, from my ephemera kit. Um, and we're going to use him today. He's going to be the feature. And what I've done is I've cut a little circle out of my pink backing paper. So this circle, oh, sorry for the glare. It's about three and a quarter inches or uh, eight centimeters all right so that's what we're going to do and i am going to stick him on here as well so we're going to stick him down there i've wanted to do something with a scroll from the start so today's his day <laughs> or no today it's her day it's a it's a girl all right so here we go we're going to stick you down is that going to be all right i think so right there we go now guys if you don't have i've used a die cut here but of course if you don't have a die cut you can use anything that's in the shape of a circle i'm just looking at my uh, dimensional tape here that would work as well i mean that was just a fluke but look at that that's pretty much the size you know even a mug would be the right size all right, so if you have to keep moving that around just to prevent that bit, you know, I think you could find something that has a circle shape. I think a mug would do it. All right, so we want to stick that down. 
um, but before that I've got a couple of other bits that I want to put on here just so that I can get this in the right spot. So I've taken one of my little um, Happy Holiday sentiments there, All Things Bright and Beautiful. I've backed it onto a bit of um, green backing um, and I haven't done that very well. So I'm just going to, I think I was going to sew it, but I've, I'm not going to sew it. So I'm just getting that a little bit uh, stuck down a little bit more securely. So let's do that quickly. I've been dying to start this journal and I'm very happy to be doing so today with our very first project to go into our book. Although I have done a few that are going into our journal um, that I showed you. So, you know, um, yeah, all of those that I have done so far, the Jags, uh, the little one where we made a gatefold, you know, all of those will go in there. Right, so we've got this down. I'm going to stick this at the bottom here, I think, and this is where I just wanted to make sure that I have got it where I want it. Now, I'm also, I have got that central, but I'm going to move it slightly over, slightly over like that I think just slightly um so I'm gonna get this one stuck down quickly yeah my daughter did my nails for me you can see I've got little reindeers on my thumbs bless her so I've got Rudolph on each thumb <laughs> I quite like that actually I'm the guinea pig get all sorts right so there we go we've got that there I'm just going to grab my pencil I'm going to just make a little mark there so I know how far over I want it. It's only because I'm going to put some decoration on the left-hand side. So that's the only reason. And, of course, it'll depend on the size of the envelope that you're going to be using. It doesn't matter what size they are, as long as it's two that are the same size. So I'm going to get it there. And we're going to stick it. I'm happy with that. All right. There we go. So we're coming along with that. So that looks great. Now, what, what I've done just for the top here, I did um, cut out a little tag. It's, this is a tiny tag. Um, I'm going to just give you some dimensions here. Um, you can cut this out by hand. It's, it's just short of two inches. So one and three quarter, I think. Yeah, one and three quarter inches in length. And three quarter of an inch wide or two centimeters wide so I've just cut that there punched a little hole in the top and put some of that um, twine I got this one from Plum Boutique so I've just put that in the top there like that I'm going to stick it at the top here and then what I've done is I've cut out some snowflakes now I'm fortunate to have um, this snowflake punch I used it last year. It's a Martha Stewart snowflake snowflake plunge, which I was actually gifted a long time ago, but I'm sure that they are still available. Um, and this is probably, yeah, the, it's a, an inch wide, the snowflake. I have just stitched it onto a little scrappy bit of um, lacy crochet. This was a, a damaged doily and I've cut it into little circles. And then I've put, this is this, paper here that I've cut the snowflake out of. Um, you might have dyes of snowflakes. I have ordered the Tim Holtz one as well. Then I've just put sewn on a button and um, put a little bow on there. So I'm going to end up sticking that just over there, which I'm going to do now. All right, so I'm going to just change over to my Fabri-Tac here just because of the, the, the little cluster there trying to think of the words right so we've got this down and we'll put that just let's just gauge it so I want that there like that so I'm going to put it over here like this oops <laughs> wriggling around yeah so we've got that there and that I cut out of um, the small rose backing paper and then I'm going to just stick um, some more of this on the back of my um, little cluster there and stick that on the end like that. I thought I had a word to go in there 
it will materialize at some point here i'm sure what i had here is uh, i had some fabric i was going to put this fabric just on the end over the sides there but i don't think i want to do that anymore do i don't i i don't know <laughs> humming and hawing here i think i will actually i think i will and then what i'll do is when i do this i can cover what i don't want so I'm going to do that. That might just um, give it a little bit more dimension. So this is just some of my Liberty of London, which I had torn. I'm going to just put a very thin layer here of glue, Fabri-Tac. Um, very thin, just on the edge, like that. I think it's going to need to go a little bit underneath that section there. And then I can just tuck it underneath there like that i think that's that's sort of where i want it so we've got that down there like that happy with that i've just quite liked a bit of fabric on here and i'm going to stick this down um and we'll you'll see what I'll, i will do when i get to this bit all right so we've got that bit there as well so i'm just going to take it and just help strengthen the 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 edge as well and of course you don't have to do this but it's a prettier way to do it than with mark skin tape you know so i'm quite all right with that then i'm going to just cut that off there as well keep those little bits i'm sure um yeah i think we'll just put a little bit more glue on the edge there just a little bit more there and a little bit more there like that so there you can see where we are at the moment i've got a few more bits to put on here but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to stitch around the edge here this is not a must but as i didn't stick the glue um to the edge i'm going to just stick around the perimeter here and i will be back here um in a moment okay so i'm back and you can see i've just made a little stitch line around there i just like a stitched finish but it's an optional extra it's not something that you must do um, and I like to do it at this point because I'm going to stick something on the back here and you know you don't you you don't always get the best result of stitching there I mean there's nothing wrong with it it's just that the needle pushes the holes through that way so the cardboard lifts up the paper I should say so um, we're going to finish off here first all right so I've managed to find my little sparkle I've taken these um, words from uh the unboarded you know the, the ones that don't have the border and i took out um sparkle from there so I'm making use of everything and i'm just going to stick that down onto my little tag at the top there quickly right so that's going onto that little tag over there okay so we've got that done and now um, I'm just going to put some little bits and pieces. So I have cut a couple of die cuts out from the various dies that I have. And I've um, got a pink one. This is from the green backing paper, the pink. And then I just managed to do a little silver sprig. And I wanted to just decorate this up and put it over here. Now I am mindful of the edge of the page. So I'm going to just clip this down here just so that it stays flat and then I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to put this one um, sort of like this. Yeah, something like that. So let's get that down first. Right, then I've got my little skeleton leaf, which I'm loving these. I do love these, so we'll get this down. Um, how do I quite want this one? Yeah, I think like this. That'll do the job. Okie dokes, right. Okay, I'm going to come back. I've got more to um, put on here. Oops, I have forgotten something already. Um, I was going to put my little ribbon here now, and I haven't, so we will do that quickly. Um, that's all right. I'll just have to cut it with precision. So, yeah, you see, what am I like? 
So I've got my little ribbon. This is the 10 millimeter one. Um, I'm going to put some glue on here. I've cut this edge really neatly so it won't be as long as this. Let's just have a go at this. I really should have put this below, but it's not you're not going to be any the wiser. Um, so I've got that there. Um, I'm not going to worry there because that's all covered up, so that's okay. But um, yeah, there we go. So I've got a bit of the ribbon sticking out there, and it would have gone across all this lot here and covered up there, so that's okay. I managed to survive that one. Okay, so there we go. Um, I've got some more bits to go on here, but um, they've got a bit of dimension, so I'm going to come back to doing that at the end, if I remember. Let's hope I do. All right, so it will just finish the front off. Right now, we're going to open this up. We're going to now tackle the rest of this. So, um, on the side here, I've made this pretty easy. I've got my pink backing page, which is now going to cover that sewing uh, like that. And I'm going to stick that down, but I'm going to stick it, stick this to this first. Now, this is one of my mini pages. Um, I've trimmed it to fit and have a little, because it was just, just a little bit too small. So I quite like the bit of pink um, showing through. So I'm going to just, you can see, I had a, <laughs> it was a reprint. I actually used it for this, but then I decided, no. I'll have the other side. So um, you see, it all comes to comes together in the end. So let's stick that down first, I think. And I've got this one close to the edge. You could actually um, sew around the edges of this as well. It's all up to what you prefer. But I would do that at this point um, before I stick it down here. But I quite like how that's etched with a bit of pink. So that's sort of coming together nicely. Uh, and I love this image. So now we're going to stick this down. And this is just a nice little visual page. How's everybody feeling about their Christmas journals? Are you excited to start? Um, we've got quite a few exciting episodes to follow along. I'm not sure how many exactly at this point, but uh, as it as it happens, you know, <laughs> It's, um, yeah. Okay, it'll be a good few weeks, I'm sure. Okay, so there's that. Isn't that pretty? I do love that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Beautiful for a card as well. Right, so we've got that there. That's not quite finished. We've got this bit now, this bit here. Um, so what I've done here is... I've got this backing page. Just make sure it's in the right position. I'm going to stick that down there. And that's going to be um, the base for what we want to do here. So quite happy about that. Get that all glued down. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying your crafting this weekend. And I, I know lots of people are saying that they haven't finished lots of different things. But you know, guys, there's no rush to do that. This is a the, the journey, isn't it? It's about the journey and having fun. So, you know, don't rush it. Just enjoy it. There's no rush at all. All right. Oh, it's coming together beautifully. You're loving that. Right. Now, oh. <laughs> I'm not going to forget to stick the lace down. So this is a little bit of lace I bought from Plum Boutique. Um, I think from my autumn journal, actually. I'm going to stick it down there before I forget, because, you know, that's been happening today. Um, <laughs> I have all these intentions, and then I see, oh, there's a bit over. I forgot that at the end. <laughs> do you guys do that too? Oh, no, so I'm trying to get it together here. All right, so I'm trying to clip things together. That works. Of course, when I'm actually making things and it's not on camera, I don't forget because it's on my mind at that moment. So, but of course, it's quite something when you're trying to do everything at once. Talk, you know, glue, staying camera and everything else. Right, I, I got it on. I'm so proud of myself. Right, so we've got that there. I have just got another little quote. May you, may you have a December to remember and may you. It's, you know, it's going to be amazing. So we're going to get this stuck down. 
And this is going to be our little pocket here to put goodies in. So let's see, is that about central? It is. So there we go. Got that down. So that's perfect. And you can put other little bits on here as well. I know that I have got um, lots of little bits that could go on here. Um, mostly snowflakes, but um, I'm going to leave this flat because I want to keep this quite flat. Right, now I'm going to just um, glue on the three sides here. Um, so let's get that done. So we're going to just put a bit bead of glue there and then along the base and then again just at the top there like that. All right, so that's great. And then we can get this down just like that. Move it over a bit. Okay, so the pink is being picked up on both sides here. We've got our nice little pocket and that's looking lovely. We will fill that a little later on. Right, so, so far, so good. This is a lovely little booklet. You could even make this a journal cover. You could put a little um, mini journal pages in there um, and you could have a pocket and this could be the back. I mean, you could do that as well if you sewed in a, a signature there. That would be an amazing little booklet for... Um, a gift for somebody i think um right now we're going to turn this over we're going to do the last little bit here i think this will be easier this way now um first of all i've got this little bit here this is my um flap over there and i'm going to stick that down all i did to draw this was to um fold that bit out and trace around it like that and then I just um, folded the two edges together like that and just where the line was that I'd already cut I just made it slightly smaller just so that it would be, fit inside all right and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the edges here as well in a minute so we've got that there oh I think my daughter's tidying up for me it's cleaning day on a Friday here uh, so we have a big tidy and clean and she's busy. <laughs> awesome. That's what I like to hear. I don't, um, don't get all the time I would like to actually do the cleaning. Although I clean as I go, I've always been that way. But, um, you know, time wise, because I have such a lot going on. So um, it's part of Paige's pocket money agreement. Um, which <laughs> has worked pretty well. Um, but yeah, I've got a list for her to tick off. <laughs> right now, I just want to, because this looks a bit wider here for the than the rest, I'm just trimming that bit off there. And you can see it's a bit wider. So I'm just going with the lines of this pink sort of lining bit. There we go, that's just going to make it, you know, a little bit more rounded. Okay, so there we go. Happy with that. I'll probably go and ink all of this stuff um, at the end, you know, like on the edges here and that sort of stuff. All right, so we've got that done. We've got that done. Now we've got a little bit at the back. Right, we're on the home straight. So what did I do here? I took, a this is a large page. Um, it was for uh, the floral page that I have and I don't see the rest of it here to show you. Or do I? Um, it was one of the mini pages there from there, that section. Okay, so what I did was I measured the same size as I did for this pink page, one of these full size sheets. And now, um, if you have a look at it, I've made it slightly smaller just because I knew I was going to have this um, fabric here. So now uh, what I want to do is I did forget to ink this, um, so I will do that. Um, I don't normally put a lot of ink on and this little brush goodie has been phenomenal. So I must say that's been amazing. Right, so it's I've made it slightly shorter because the fold line as you can see if i fold it is just a quarter of an inch shorter 
all right now what i did was I, I didn't do this so i could show you how i did it i slipped this in here all right because it's cut slightly smaller on every side about an eighth of an inch um and i line it up to the fold line here the fold line of this flap so i'm just getting that up there a little higher that's it okay and then what i did was i took my pencil and i've just traced around the sides here with my pencil all right so you've got that at the tip there and at the tip there then i'm going to take that out and i'm going to trim this out Right, now we can just, oh, I didn't quite get it um, right over there. This is what happens when you're trying to do things on camera. Okay, so it's just a case of just giving that a slight inking on the edge. Um, I don't need to really do it here because you're not going to see the edges of this. And now it's a case of just sticking this down to match up those bits there like that. So let's do that quickly. Right, so I'll use this because it's slightly more forgiving if I need to shift it slightly. Um, and you know, that often happens. And because I'm going to be sticking this on the fabric, I'm going with this glue here. Of course, you guys can use whatever you like to use. All right, so there we go. Now I'm gonna just turn this this way so I can see what I'm doing. And now I'm going to get that in there and that in there like that. Move it up a bit so that it's on the right spot there. Um, and there we go, I think that's about right. And then we can just press it down like that. Okay. Uh, and then we can just give that a bit of a distress ink on the sides there. Okay, so we've got that one done nicely. All right, and then this bit here, this bit, you guessed it, it's going to fit just on the inside here. over here like that and you want to just be mindful of the fold line and i've got that perfectly done All right so now you just go like this with your bone folder and that's nice and flat there okay so we're just going to stick on the back here um i've got this little strip that goes on here but i'm going to just use this back paper there we go so that's done that's all done um and then on the back here let's do that a little bit quickly so again i've made a little tag here put in some of that twine and a little bit of lace and torn off chair so exactly the same i made two of these so i'm going to put this down just over here and then um, just got a couple of bits of foliage that I've cut out. So this one I've cut out from my freebie paper. This one from my green backing spotted paper. And this one is from this paper here. So I'm going to just arrange those, starting with the goldy one or beigey one, one or goldy beige. I'm just going to stick that down quickly. All right, so I've got those stuck down and now I can stick down my little tag. And then just put some of this glue onto the lace bit as well. And then I can just have it like this. Okay, and now while that's setting, we turn it over to the front. Um, 
and now we've just got a couple of bits to go on here so what i've done is i've cut out some snowflakes now you can use a, a die cut or whatever or a punch this is just a punch i've got a few of those here so we've got the pink one stuck there um, and i just wanted to arrange some of these so i've got the reddish one this is from my top um gingham paper that i was a freebie I've got that and a green that I want to stick over here. And then I've got this other freebie paper and the green backing paper. And I wanted to just um, stick these on here as well. All right, so we'll see how we go. So I'm going to start with that one and that one. So let's do that. I've just put some dimensional tape on the back here just to sort of lift it a bit you don't have to do that um i'm just trying to you know i don't want everything to appear completely flat not a great idea when you're wanting to add it to your journal of course but um you know small price to pay i think right so i'm going to stick this one then i'm just thinking i'll have that one further up or Maybe just one, I think. I think I'm going to put one there. So we'll put this one down here, the goldy one. Just getting the fronds, or no, not fronds, what are they? Icicle tentacles. <laughs> I'm sure there's a proper name um, in the right spot there. And then I'm going to just put, I don't know, are we going to put one down here? Or are we going to put it over here? And can you please shout louder? I think I'm going to put it down here like that um, and then that looks great all right I have got another one another little oney that was one of the pink ones but I'm not sure if I want to I might just finish that off there so let's just do that then this is um, the one with the little gold same as the backing there so I'm going, if I put that there, it sort of just covers up a little bit over there. All right, so we've got that sorted. Now you can put some um, stickles or uh, any of those sorts of glitzy bits, which I might actually do. It will firm up the paper, um, and I've done that before, and that really works pretty well. Right, I've just got some bits that I want to put into this now. So we've got that. That's our front. Um, if I open that up, that's just a pretty uh, visual. <laughs> then I've got um, one of my postcards that I've backed onto paper. I'm going to put that in there. It's nice and flat. This is one of the tags. Um, and I'm going to add that there with a beautiful bit of that um, tartan ribbon lying nice and flat. So that's going to go in there. And then on the back, definitely going to put some of the... I'm trying to think what's that other stuff I use. Um... And then I've got a nice postcard here, one of my postcard or journal cards from my kit. I've just stamped it on the back there, um, you know, and that's going to go into this pouch over here. So you've got lots of writing space here. You can put a little Velcro dot. You can put magnets in here. You can make a little coin goodie and close it if you like. Um, I'm not going to do any of that. Um, I might put a little Velcro spot on there. Um, so we've got lots of writing space here. We've got our beautiful front over there. And that is our little goodie for today. Right, now I'm going to put this, just to make it lie nice and flat, um, I'm going to put it underneath a, a couple of books, I think. That always works. And then the next morning it's a pancake. <laughs> so that's what I do when I want things a little flatter. Or I just take those little clips of mine and I clip them on the end here and that helps as well. All right, so not too bad. Let me know what you think. I, I quite enjoyed putting that together and we've got our little squirrel on the front. Um, so let me know what you think. I could put a bow around there as well, couldn't you? Um, it was lovely to spend some time with you again today, guys. Um, go and give this a go. We're going to put it into our journal. Um, it's going to be, I reckon, probably at the front um, in a little pocket, a little lacy pocket or something. All right, so go and have a lovely weekend. Go and have some fun time crafting. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys on Sunday. 
um yeah and that's all really let me know what you think and stay well until next time goodbye